Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, my name is Andres. Thank you for coming to my uh, presentation. If I speak too loudly or too quickly, uh, please let me know. <clears throat> my presentation is about Star Wars. There are six Star Wars movies, and the seventh Star Wars movie is coming out this Christmas. And the first Star Wars movie was also on TV here in Taiwan last month, August. And more recently, Friday, 4 September, was Force Friday, when the new Star Wars toys went on sale. Star Wars is my favorite movie. And, well, one of my favorites. And it's, it's the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. Star Wars came out in 1977, the same year I was born. <laughs> so my mother took me from the hospital straight to the movies. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I actually saw Star Wars when I was four years old. But more importantly, so many people have seen Star Wars. So many people love Star Wars. So much can be said about Star Wars. So much has been said about Star Wars. If we had time, I would say, okay, everybody, we're gonna watch all six movies, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about all of them. And Ian, that's the next outing. Just kidding. <laughs> no problem. Uh, but because we don't have a lot of time, Let's just look at one clip and talk about it. There's so much happening just in the beginning of, in, in, of this movie. And if we have time, we'll talk about another clip as well. And uh, for the sake of my presentation, we'll just watch it without sound. So no sound, just watch it. And at uh, any time, please just uh, jump in with questions. Just any time. Okay. Not just a story. 
but a fairy tale, a myth, a legend, and it's modern. In other words, one of the reasons why so many people like Star Wars is because it is new and old. It is familiar and different. It uses things that have been used before in ways that have not been used before. And we will see more of this. Now, let's talk about opposites. Here, the movie begins with these 10 words and no sound. Then, the movie continues. The movie continues with the title, just two words. They fill the screen. And the music starts. There's no sound for this presentation, but if there was, you would hear that the music is big and fanfare. Opposites. It starts quiet, no sound, and then it continues big and loud. It starts subdued, but it continues big. Now let's look at the opening scroll. Practice your English reading skills. <laughs> So I'll pause it here. This is Romeo and Juliet. Here's how it begins. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. It continues to introduce to us the story of the play. This tells us the story of the movie. So Star Wars begins in a similar way that Shakespeare began his plays and in a similar way that the ancient Greeks began their plays. This movie is showing us that it is literature. But it's a movie, it's not a book. Old and new, opposites. Now, let's look again at opposites. You will see two spaceships, one small, one big, opposites. Let's watch. The big ship. The big ship. Let me go back a little bit. Even further. The big ship is so big that it fills the whole screen. It even gets bigger than the screen. Imagine watching this in a dark movie theater on the big screen. And you see a big ship filling up everything. This ship belongs to the empire, and it symbolizes that the evil empire is big and everywhere. opposites. Two robots, one tall, 
the other small. One has legs, one has wheels, one looks like a person, one doesn't, one is yellow, one is blue. Look at everything else. There's a lot of white, there's a lot of black. Opposites. Sorry. Okay. Look at these soldiers. We see their faces. We see their clothes. Now, look at the door. You're going to see a door in a second. Watch what happens and then look at the other soldiers. Look at these soldiers. We don't see their faces. We don't see their clothes. We see their armor. And do you know what they look like? Do they look familiar? They look like this. They look like skeletons. Zombies, dead people, and they're coming. Now, watch this. Okay. 
That was the beginning of the movie. Now let's look at a clip at the end of the movie. Let me explain what's happening here. These pilots of these small ships are trying to hit a very small target so that they will destroy the enemy. They will use their computers to try to hit the target. Watch what happens. So what just happened? He uses his computer, he fails to hit the target, and he dies. Now watch what happens when the other pilot tries to do the same thing. And had to leave, the other friend was killed. Then Luke tried to use the computer but then a voice told him, use the force. Luke turned off his computer. Then his robot co-pilot was destroyed. Luke has no friends, no robot co-pilot, no computer, but he, but he has the force. And by using the invisible, mysterious, maybe magical force, he accomplishes his goal. We won't see it because we don't have time, but he, he hits the target. By using the force, he defeats all of this advanced technology around him. And that is the central irony of Star Wars. It uses technology to make an anti-technology message. Now, the message of this movie is similar to the message that religion is more powerful than science. Science cannot save us from death. We all die. Well, maybe in the future it will. But that's the message of this movie. Now, imagine watching this movie with sound. And finally, for some people, Star Wars is not good. Some people think Star Wars is stupid. <laughs> Star Wars is just special effects, right? Or just technology. But the late Roger Ebert, Pulitzer Prize winning movie critic, and probably the most popular movie critic ever, said, I think all movies are special effects. Movies are not real. They're two-dimensional. The film goes through the camera, the projector throws the light on the screen, and that makes a special effect. It's a dream. It's an imagination. And I would like, like to take this opportunity to end by suggesting that we make an outing of going to MTV and watching the Star Wars movies to prepare for the new Star Wars movie this Christmas. I think that's a great idea. I love MTV, and yes, when I go to MTV, I actually watch movies. That's all I do when I go to MTV. I don't do anything else when I am inside MTV. I'm not 18 years old, I am 38. Okay. This book is called uh, Science Fiction, and if you are further interested in the topic of Star Wars or science fiction, you can have this book from me. It talks about Star Wars and other uh, science fiction. And I also recommend you find and watch the movie Hidden Fortress. I don't know the Japanese name, but it's an old black and white Japanese movie by one of the greatest filmmakers in the world ever, Akira Kurosawa, or Kurosawa Akira. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Great job. Uh, Tyler's just off. Uh, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> so um, there are like six, uh, six, it's a series of six, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which, which, which one is your favorite? Or what? Um, it's, um, it's easy to say that the first... 
The first or the second one? Uh, the first one came out, it's a little confusing because the first one is actually episode six, excuse me, three, and the second one is actually number five because later he made one, two, and the, the they made one, two, and three. Uh, it's easy, easily uh, three or four uh, are uh, my favorites. In fact, if you want to prepare to see the new one that's coming out in Christmas, just see three, four, and five. One, two, three are quite terrible. But, but they, they still have um, a lot of the symbolism that uh, you see in, in this movie. Any other questions? Oh, I like, to, I like your last quote about special effects. If you don't mind, then send me those quotes, right? What I, what did you just say? The what? The what? No, the, the special yeah. effects. All the movies are special. All the, oh, oh, the I like, uh -huh. Yeah, I like the quote. If, like, if you could, send, please write on the... I'll put it online. Yes. Online group. <laughs> but I think it's really good. Yeah, of course, all the movies are special. Yes. You cannot use that to judge a movie. Right. You 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 can. There, there can there are movies with too much special effects, but yeah. yeah. But, they, but at the same the time, they all are yeah. all special yes. effects. So right? I really like that part. Mm -hmm. Yes. So totally agree with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you know, so we, we will never notice those details without. Oh, your comments, which is, uh, I think it's just a uh, special effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you again.